Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're talking about the lower body. I've gotten a lot of questions about this. Um, we're talking about the rear leg and the lower body and having, having rotation as our, as our front foot is basically coming into the ground for most hitters. There's some hitters, you know, I think of like Paul Goldschmidt who land with their, their foot really early, they go on their toe, right? And then as their, as their rear leg starts to turn, that's what's gonna drop their heel. But most hitters are going to load, stride, read the ball as they're striding, and then make a swing decision while their foot is still off of the ground. And then their rear leg is gonna to start to turn, their lower body is gonna to start to rotate, and that is what's gonna put the foot down into the ground. And so you're actually gonna see the lower body start to turn as the foot's coming into the ground while the upper body is still closed. Couple of things. First off, if you look at still pictures, if you were to take a hitter when they swing, right? So they get loaded, ready to hit, their hips are going to close, right? And we've talked about that a lot. We've talked about taking the back pocket to the pitcher. We've talked about getting the hips to, to close or coil. We've talked about the leg getting loaded back, right? So we do that during our load. We close our hips. Now we pick up our front foot and we start to stride, right? So we're closed. We're closed, we're closed, we're closed. We're reading the ball. We're closed, 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 closed. Well, for, again, for most hitters, timing on a fastball is going to be I'm going to say swing and start to launch my swing before my foot's on the ground, right, for most hitters. And so what you're gonna see is, you're gonna see right there, right there, your, the back leg is gonna start to turn. And when the back leg turns, what you're gonna see, you're gonna see the leg turning and the lower body is gonna start to open, but you're gonna see the upper body is, is usually gonna be somewhere like this. So this is gonna be opening, from the waist down is gonna be opening, and the upper body is still gonna look closed, right, a still picture. You're not gonna see this, with the heel down and the lower body still closed, right? If you do, it's probably, it's definitely a take or it's gonna be really, really late. And so be careful if you're watching your hitters and, you, and you're going through video and you see this, so you see this action happening as the front foot's hitting the ground that we're not telling hitters that they've got to stay closed, right? That's that, that is lower body turning this way and then upper body going back. And we've talked about creating that stretch of that elastic type feeling where then the barrel is going to turn and whip deep, right? Again, we've got this part of our body going like this, the other part going the opposite direction, just like we take an elastic, we pull them apart and then we shoot it, right? So that's how the lower body is going to work. And you, know, you can look at any major league hitter, hitter, any high level hitter, and that's what you're gonna see. You're gonna see a lower body turning, an upper body resisting against that turn for this, that split second as it works back, and then the barrel gets turned deep. And that's how we're able to create a whole lot of bat speed from the inside, a nice, short, quick, powerful swing. So um, just wanted to throw that out there. I've gotten a couple of questions about the lower body, you know, because we talk a lot about loading the lower body and getting the, the hips to coil and close, you know, but how long do they stay coiled and closed? Do they stay coiled and closed as the front foot gets into the ground? Um, and again, for most hitters, it's the, the rear leg starting to turn is going to be what puts the foot in the ground, right? And you're gonna see that lower body opening as they get down. I'm not trying to stride and land and, and stay closed. For me, that's like a really old school thought, like that I should be like here, closed, everything closed, read the ball, and then swing. You're not gonna have a very powerful swing. So let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. If you wanna learn more about this, about our four core principles of hitting and all the drills that we have that go along with it, you can click the description box below, get our swing course down there. Uh, that's all I have. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. Give it a thumbs up. All that good stuff. We'll talk to you later.
If you've got hitters that you're looking to improve before the start of next season, this is essential for you. Matt Antonelli here, former Major League player, first round pick, and college coach. With this course, we're gonna show you exactly, step-by-step, step, how to generate power, develop bat speed, and enhance swing mechanics. Regardless of your hitter's age, this course is going to deliver advanced hitting techniques that will allow any hitter to get better and make an impact at the plate this spring. We have a full catalog of training content that you can access from anywhere at any time. This course is perfect for players, parents, coaches, instructors, and more. It offers a comprehensive package of drills and techniques that you can directly implement. Our course has helped hitters all over the country at different competition levels, and the feedback that we've received has been outstanding. The work you put in now will drive your success at the plate this spring. Get the essential knowledge that you need to take your game to the next level.